Hello, my dear friends of healthier and skincare. Today's topic is going to be the new fat clay by the Lockhart. And um, what I'm going to compare it with are basically the Lockhart products, which are clays, because they have a plenty full already. And I compare them with my, how can I say, my personal use gold standards. Um, but let's get into the details. The first thing that you'll notice when you get the tin, it's Lockhart, typical art style. And something that pops directly onto you is a hole. It's four out of five. I thought, all right, then I definitely give it a shot. And something you initially realize when you open the tin is you get this picture. And already by the creamy appearance, you already notice that this is a cream pomade, actually. A cream pomade clay, so to say. It's an unorthodox product. Uh, water-based but with beeswax and um, you know, oils and a lot of basically characteristics of both worlds the water-based and the oil-based uh, homemade world as contents uh, in it however the scent on this that directly pops onto you is a lovely and basically one uh, from now on one of my favorite Lockhart scents this is a dark orange citric type of mandarin type of scent really good really nice and by the way it also caves up 24 hours that is and and this is something that strikes you this is like the scent is a 10 out of 10 no no doubt about it and referring to one of my older videos which i titled a uh, lockhart's the and the unfortunate trend because i realized that more and more lockhart's products get unfortunately rather chemical bombs than like straight all in wax based or any type of this product it also accounts for the fat clay um unfortunately it contains acrylates but all right you know some do others don't bother uh, but just as him to mention so when you apply this or applying and getting it out of the tin there's basically no problem at all um you have a hold that is definitely not at four out of five especially when you compare it with the other products it brings all the limitations a water based product has uh, i live in vienna and we are in a continental climate zone which means very hot summers and rather cold winters um so we had um, more than 38 and more than 40 degrees celsius i didn't get much hold of volume out of this this is um but this in advance a rather how can i say salon type of product um the clay does its effect you know it has a very matte finish which is all right which is fine um but uh, you may ask okay but well, how can what can i compare it to so something that you will notice when you own some other uh, locker products is this one the clay pomade lockhart both are basically in their effect and in their appearance and in their endurance and the performance pretty much comparable i do not, you know maybe there are minor tweaks but i cannot find anything that strikes out as a difference between those two except for the scent um yeah i personally think that this is was and still is pretty much comparable then um you have the other two Lockhart clays, which is the matte clay and the matte clay from 500 brimstone and from 500 brimstone line. The matte clay is a medium firm holding clay, also unorthodox, which a rather, let's say, gummy texture. It is more difficult to put into your hair rather than the fat clay. Yes, it is a more how can I say pomade type of clay and rather fate or basis upon the fact that you get hold and, and volume out of this it, actually not a bad product again an un unorthodox clay um, yeah I, I personally by the scent it's a top sort of a Nivea type of you know, scent that you get out of here and not not a you know not bothering one but almost neutral but again, a medium to firm holding pomade, unorthodox. So no problem washing this up. And of course, 
one of my favorite Lockhart scents and basically for me personally the best homemade that they ever put out which unfortunately stains massively but homemade wise the best that they ever put out is the fire and brimstone and of course they also have a clay which is an unorthodox clay which is the matte clay fire and brimstone okay so this is something i would call <coughs> a almost heavy clay um the hold you get out of this which you see also a very gummy texture and rather tougher than the matte clay um and you know the hold you get out of this is present 24 hours and a firm to almost strong holding product i personally like it um although you know I, i'm not fancying um unorthodox products that much but i personally like the overall and how can i say uh the overall performance and, and, and the, the, the effect of all of this. I really, 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 really like it. Um, yeah, but how do all these compare to my regular gold standards? Why? So regarding the heavy or stronghold, I compare all clays with matte clay from MG Pomade. This is by far, it's an almost all natural product. Um, and this is by far, for me, uh, the most complex product worldwide out there. Uh, you can say caffeine and aloe vera. It's a rather heavy holding product with a rather strong and heavy consistency. I did a review about that. You can check it out. Um, you get, especially under, let's say, difficult weather conditions, hold and volume for 24 hours out of this without any problems without any alterations by weather or personal sweating or whatever you do i love the scent it's a vanilla type of scent um it is not like that fruity as the fat clay but again um regarding hold volume endurance and especially ingredients nothing gets as it or comes as a competitor to this yes it's an almost clay pomade so you probably have um, more difficulties of washing it out. Personally, I don't. I rather really I, I get it out within like one time or one type of or one time of shampoo. And you can say yeah, but that's a heavy one, so um, you can expect more volume and stuff like out of this rather than another one. Okay, medium holding, medium to firm holding clay is the Tiki Head by Dirk Ohm, also an almost all natural product. Uh, it's a also a clay pomade um, in terms of matte finish and ETC, ETC like the matte clay by uh, MG pomade, excellent and pretty much comparable. Though there's nothing you know that is or has a matter finish. And these both um, also here the the type of fruity ananas uh, coconut type of scent, 24 hour present. You get a lot of hold and volume out of this. It is not as strict and heavy holding as the matte clay by MG pomade, but again, um, also in terms of volume and and hold, um, it beats the locker case because uh, for the weather resistance, because for the performance it gives for 24 hours, um, and the washability here as well is given for me personally, I get it out with one shampooing, one time shampooing, and that's it. Um, I really personally like those. Um, but let's get back to the Lockhart case. So, but what would be my final verdict on the fat clay? Close the circle. It is a salon type of product. It's a cream matte type of product. Uh, unorthodox product uh, which you can rinse out you know easily it does not require any type of you know how can i say tweaks or difficulties when you uh, how to get it into your hair and whatsoever the hold is not a four out of five it is a 2.5 out of five especially when you compare it with the other ones um personally if you need volume and hold i would definitely go for this and that guy by uh from Fire brimstone if you want to stick with lockhart um or if you want a rather smoother or not so heavy holding clay the matte clay from um the same on this is a 10 out of 10. I, I really love it that that is for me the only point i would recommend buying this um i really say and stick to it that 
the Dicky Head or the Matte Clay by MG Pomit are still for me the gold standards in terms of performance and scent wise and pretty much all the characteristics I like and would expect from a hair product. So I hope I could give you a bit of a deeper insight towards all of these and I hope this format was not too, how can I say, too elaborate or too big and uh, I hope you find it interesting and I hope to see you in the next video again guys. So I hope you're healthy, I hope you're well and take care. Goodbye.